information. So that was identify, using identify to get to the transfer cart. Um, a little trick is to go straight to the transfer cart and go to scan. So this one's different than your identify scanner because you've got your little um, check marks here. So like if I were scanning multiple assets, I would scan Stephanie's laptop and then maybe Jen's laptop and a bunch of other tools that Derek brought in, right? And I would just keep scanning. It leaves me here and this number will continue to go up until you're done, okay? When I'm done scanning everything that I want to add, I hit X and then I'm at the transfer cart and I just continue on like I would normally. Okay, so that's one way of just doing it very quickly. Let's remove this. Okay, so that's identifying the transfer cart. Some of you are uh, a little Speedy Gonzales and got ahead of me, which is great. Let's talk about inventory. This is probably the thing you will use the most often next to the transfer cart. So you can do inventory by locations, storage assets, or workers or employees. So for you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and guess some of you have vehicles, right, that have tools assigned to them. We can do it by storage asset, which is what you will use most often. I can type Derek's name in here, and his vehicle comes up. Don't worry, it won't have all of this mumbo jumbo in here forever. Uh, it's in his van. It's Go in back. His van, right? We did it his yeah, van already. Yeah, sure. Um, he's got, he's got a whole, his own whole fleet. He's, That's he's right. in the process of changing. <laughs> we have an extra vehicle for him. Okay, so his Ford that we did yesterday, you can see there's 14 assets that are saying they're not found. Okay, don't let that like freak you out. Not found just means there's no technology associated with these paper tags. So your phone is looking for a Bluetooth tag and it's not going to find it because these are not Bluetooth tags. I don't even think you had a Bluetooth tag on your car. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you're like, well, that's great, but what am I looking for? I'm gonna have you hit the little red arrow to the side. And now you can see a full list of all 14 of the tools that are on his, his van, okay? Um, we are gonna have you guys send quarterly inventory reports to Jim and Stephanie, just saying that you find all 14 <laughs> of these on your truck or on your job site. And the way you're gonna do that is in the top right-hand corner, you've got the minus <laughs> sign in the box. That brings up your scanner. You're gonna lay out all 14 of your tools and just scan boom, 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 right down the line, okay? Again, that's on a quarterly basis. Anything that you find that does belong to you that is one of those 14 things is gonna show up in green. It's gonna say one, two, three, four, five, and up the list and so on. If you have something that does not belong to you or does not belong to that location, it's gonna show up in unexpected meaning that somebody somewhere forgot to transfer it and now you have it and you shouldn't have it. So the way you would fix that, scan it, transfer it to yourself real quick, and then come back and do the inventory. So with inventory, let's say I get a phone call and I have to back out of this because I need to go transfer a tool or I have to look up something for somebody somewhere else. I'm gonna back out. I can, you know, go to my transfer cart, identify whatever it is I need to do, and then I can come back to my inventory okay. on his van, not his truck. And it's going to say, hey, do you want to continue what you were doing about two seconds ago, or would you like to start completely brand new? So I would just hit continue. It would save all of that information, all the tools that I had scanned prior to leaving. So you're not having to start completely over. Okay. Does this make sense? Does anybody have any questions? Okay. Awesome. All right. So that that's three buttons out of four buttons. Identify, transfer cart, and inventory. Do you guys have any questions about any of those three so far? No. Okay. Just double check it. Um, the next thing we'll talk about that's important for you guys to know, something you will need to check on a regular basis going forward, is this alerts in the bottom right-hand corner, the little bell. So OnTrack is not going to send you notifications and alerts like nor, like you would get a Facebook alert, right? Or a text message pops up on your phone with, with a little chime. OnTrack's not going to do that. So you're going to need to know to come in here and check the notifications. You will get like a little red number one, two, three, four, however many you have in the bottom right hand corner. It should pop out at you. Um, but just know like you're not going to be on vacation in Aruba and we're going to be sending you a bunch of notifications. That's not what this is. 
Um, so you're going to be checking for notifications on service alerts. If you set a return date on anything, that's going to show up here as well. Um, you don't have any alerts right now because I haven't sent any up. But going forward, just be aware that some of those can pop in here. If you have any questions about how to handle it or what it is, Stephanie and Jim are going to be like my little pros by the end of this. They're your champions. Just let them know, like, I have this tool, has an alert on it. What do you want me to do? Okay. Um, really, anything that's like oil changes and those kinds of things, you would go back to the shop and one of these guys would be able to dismiss it for you. So that's no longer there looking at you. Okay. And then this has extra credit because you guys are really paying attention and it's fantastic. I appreciate it. Um, in assets, you've got like the little drill here in the bottom left corner. This is going to be a list of everything in the company. So you guys have full transparency to what's in Bend, what's in Portland, what's in Seaside, so on and so forth, right? So 184 total. The top right hand corner, you've got your little funnel button, and this will allow you to filter by anything specific. So you can filter it by specific manufacturers, specific asset groups. If I wanted to go to asset group and filter down to all of the heaters that Chris and I added yesterday, you would select that and then hit done. And there were 19 total heaters. And if I could click on one of these. There were more than that. <laughs> I'm just saying there were more than that. Well, I was like, why don't you double check this? Um, yeah, I think there were more than this for sure. So again, I selected it and I went through all of the baseball card information. I can see that it's currently in Seaside and who I can get a hold of for this right now is Jim, right? And you can say, hey, Jim, I need this specific heater. How do we get it, right? That's not the app, though. This isn't the app. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, very last thing um, as far as buttons go here, you've got quantity items. So I'm sure someone here, if you're curious, um, so there are certain items that we did not put a barcode on. We just counted them. So things like your extension cords, right? I'm not going to put a dollar barcode on those because we lose them all the time, but we do want to know how many we have. So if I come up to search and do EXT, right? I broke it down by 50 and 100 foot extension cords. So now you kind of know how, like which ones you're looking at. If you click on allocation for the 100 foot, this is going to tell you all of the locations that have this specific tool. So mm -hmm. at the junction site, you have 800 foot extension cords, right? And you, at that point, you would be able to call Jim and be like, hey, I know you have some, or it says you have some. Can we get those to my job site? Okay. That's true for anything in this list. Fans, uh, we did employee monitors that they have at home, fire extinguishers. Ladders, pump jacks, scaffolding, all that good stuff. Okay. That's pretty cool. What's the, uh, when you go back to the kind of main, what's that about? Main, yeah, that's a perfectly good question. So, main is like where we restock. So, if I buy more extension cords, I'm mm -hmm. going to restock them in Seaside. Okay. Yeah. So, like your job site, I'm not probably going to restock my 100 brand new extension cords to your job site. It's going to go to a warehouse first. Okay. Yeah. So you'll see that mostly for like main warehouses, whether it's Seaside, Portland. Yeah, will we, will we get a notification that my warehouse has been restocked? That stuff's been restocked. Nope. You would be able to just go in and look at that right away. Okay. Yeah. So and if you need something that's not in stock, just put a Teams issue into Jim and say, hey, I need an extension cord. There's yeah, none I'm available. Yeah. No, but that's the process. We're still going yeah. to use Teams. Okay. To put those requests in, if you need something, put it in Teams still. So, but if now you can go on here, see what it looks like instead of, you know, Jim or you trying to find where the heck it was in the first place. Or